Hello everyone and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis and I'm here to track my consciousness as well as all of yours during the space weather and otherwise the geopolitical fun times. So I'm grateful to share in this time with you as always. It is the 13th of January here on the Gregorian calendar. It is Saturday. It is 2.39 p.m. here over by Phoenix and we are seeing the shape of a kangaroo or a dinosaur on the surface of the sun. So let's get into that right now. We are not kidding when this is a real image that's being given out as the coronal disc and what the, I would say the, the <laughs> coronal holes are shaped to be. And this is just funny. It doesn't normally go this sharp either, so it's been a fun little joke the last little bit and is a historical moment for all of us here to see this little particular coronal hole here on the coronal hole map. Thank you to Solarham for pointing that out to all of us. And there are a few sunspots that are active. We are moving out of the new moon. We're moving into towards the full moon now. Slowly but surely, we're in the sign of Aquarius at this time. And so more sunlight's going to start bouncing back off the moon. And the moon didn't go fully dark this time around in the new moon. So we've been getting more sunlight than usual in this dark moment of winter. And the Australian areas are also getting very, very warm. So you guys in your peak of summer, I'm, don't forget about you all the way over there. So we have the solar wind speed going to 480.8. So this is 80.8 over average, which should be 400 kilometers per second. No big deal, but those little nudges do seem to still bother people and cause that soreness in the body. We are watching this Comet 12P visits the Crescent Nebula over here. Just a little nod to our nearby comets and nearby nebulas as well energetically. There is some geomagnetic unrest possible this coming weekend. Right now it seems like it's okay. We are in the red resonant serpent Mayan energy right now, which means we are remember elegance of manifestation and there's some other codes going on in there. We can move on though. Thank you to all my Patreon members. We are about to go into guardian training for January. We're going to switch it up a little bit too, make it a little more public, more of a public conversation. We are going to review what we did last January, which was the sexual energies workshop. And that is available on my YouTube channel right now. You can set the reminder to get notified for this. And please join my Patreon if you haven't yet to join this lovely list of people and support the channel so I can make this content and build upon what we've gathered so far so we can get some new experimentation going on like playing with Schumann Resonance Ether Force technology potentially with tuning forks and the circuit board sensation that is all the Schumann resonance resonators that you can get in your house. I'm interested to play with these things. So thank you to my Patreon members and for the support so we can keep trying these new things and expanding the channel and the curiosity of everybody because I think this is stirring the curiosity of many very smart people and I shout out to all of you making content about the Schumann resonances, the global consciousness in general. Here is the today's global consciousness, mostly in the green. We're doing really good today. No major red moments, a little bit even in the blue, very coherent. So great job. Great Saturday, everyone. The earthquake situation, I would say it's mild because it's spreading out more in more of a vaster area. There's more of a spread out energy when it comes to the earthquakes and they're all going, nobody's going over a six right now. It seems like the biggest one is still over here by Papua New Guinea. So nothing too crazy, but we shouldn't see anything too crazy because the sun isn't impacting us too crazy. But the biggest earthquakes actually that we want to work on is the Oklahoma earthquakes that are happening right now in the United States. So for some reason, these aren't showing up on this particular map. So that's why you always have multiple resources. Okay, interesting. So this one's not showing it. Excuse me. So let's move on to one that is showing it. They have compiling earthquakes in this por portion of Oklahoma. 
pretty much smack dab in the center of it. Oklahoma is a funny one because they have this bizarre border area right here. And it borders one, two, three, four other states. And I always wonder about Oklahoma. So here is the clustering of earthquakes that's happening. Looks like it's actually happening in a somewhat residential area, which isn't very common, but it is near a lake. So that is starting to make a little more sense now. I'm going to keep moving through this show. If we'll get more evidence in the future. We will see. I'm going to go through a few more of the resources just to see how the earth is behaving while this bizarre earthquake's going on in Oklahoma. Australia is also getting some earthquaking going on. It looks like the storms are happening. We saw the earthquakes over there, so that does make sense. Let's see any incoming flares, coronal mass ejections. Yes, mildly. It seems like we weren't we were supposed to get a little more this weekend than we did, so I think we're doing okay. Otherwise, those waves really went out there to Saturn where they were supposed to go. All right, sorry, just had the biggest sneeze in my life. Here we go. Russian charts. Seriously, Saturn it does things to people. So we are seeing much calmer Russian resource right now things are much calmer much more ordinary looking at least for what we can expect so that region is chilling one sec the serious amount of sneezing happening in this show means that there is some underlying energy going on here that i'm not seeing but i want you to know about something deep inside me it's like hey there's something going on. Don't forget, this show is still important. Please listen to this information because there might be something here to trigger an awakening. So the Schumann resonances are going really quiet right now, like super quiet. The amplitude's only hitting a 9.90. Very quiet Earth resonances. The frequency, though, is going a little fast still, like we've been talking, at least in this moment that I'm recording this. That might have been the boost that I needed to even get on this computer and do this work at this moment. And... The Q factor I'm watching mildly. Let's watch where the lightning goes in because this is where the Schumann would be loudest, in my opinion, according to the data. That's how the Schumann resonances are constantly being stoked is through the lightning grounding through. Look at this beautiful straight line here, straight line here of lightning coming through. Those are interesting activations for the planet is what I should say. We're going to look at the temperatures because they keep getting colder in certain areas of the north but we are overall getting cold weather here in North America. And like I said, Australia is also seeing some hotter weather. I've been seeing the reports. Nothing in the 90s though, at this time looks like. Let's see, here we go internally. Yeah, a little bit over here in the 90s, 99. Here we go, Newman 100. I'm just checking to see because over here in the summer here in Arizona just gets into like 115 was this last year. So I'm just checking to see the temperatures around and seeing where the energy is really speeding up, you know, that kinetic heat. Fascinating. Okay, let's look at a different, let's look at the wind intensity. Look at this cycloning wind just circulating right over here. Take a look at that. Check on that over here by the Great Lakes. Very interesting. Now let's check, take a look at the sun for a brief second. Let's take a break. Just look, just watch here on the 12th. Okay, another explosion. 13th, more mild. We're in the process of another coronal mass ejection. So we are continuing with the activity on the sun as expected, but it seems like it's all going towards Saturn still and not as much in our direction. So let's see if that's going to continue. The Earth-facing bias is a theory coming through that wants to be discussed in this community. So just be a heads up that people are seeing a bias that Earth-facing solar activity doesn't quite hit the same way as it's ever really expected. So there's some benevolence maybe going on watching over us. And here's the NOAA mentioning that the eclipse in April is also going to be the solar cycle peak. So we need to be careful monitoring and looking at the sun because it's going to be so intense anyways during this solar eclipse, which is an interesting note 
to make for everybody. So just to be clear, I will read this for you. It says, get proper safety equipment and methods for great eclipse of April 8th, 2024. The eclipse is only three months away. Now is time to get your proper safety viewing equipment. Ensure you're using certified gear. Don't use anything with rips or holes or scratches. You need to be sure to protect your eyes. There are amateur solar telescopes and filters out there that will be needing, that will be needed for safe viewing. Okay, so the rest of this is pretty much similar, saying that there's just a lot of solar activity. So maybe we're going to get a bit of a show while we're watching there on the 8th. Here over Russia, which we don't see, but St. Petersburg in Florida also gave me a synchronicity today. One of their minor news outlets has followed me on Instagram. But now here in Russia, there is this massive fire going on where... Yeah, it's not that big, but this is a decent warehouse of stuff. They're building similar warehouses where near around where I live, so it's just funny how that similar that looks to me. We're seeing some Belarusian con contenders here coming into the main stage about being con conflicting, so let's give some love to Belarus as well. Similar area here it is over by Edmond, Oklahoma again where the weather radar also did all these nice spindly arms and I assume near where they had the earthquake so their 4.4 magnitude earthquake but don't worry because Iceland is also giving earthquakes we're keeping an eye on that there's 131 of them apparently it's been shaking it's starting to get people's attention just for your visual understanding of the last big kind of earthquake that's in the news here in the USA over here by Oklahoma City smack dab in the middle we have another sunspot coming over that could also be causing a little bit of turmoil the sunspot the magnetic latching on to these sunspots can cause some issues I retweeted one of the Miami or sorry Malibu earthquakes that also happened today it was synchronistic not as powerful and then we have this unfortunate but very powerful looking Colombian landslide just to show you how quick landslides can happen and why parking on the ledge of mountains during heavy rain is maybe not the best idea. So just steer clear of those areas while the rain and the snow continues building. Unless it's cold enough to freeze everything in place. For, and there's also avalanche issues where the snow is building up more in areas it doesn't usually in and uh, obviously avalanching on people so just heads up on all that there's more movement of the earth the earth is moving around so when you start seeing happen steer clear get out of that weather system change it up change your climate I promise it'll be worth it it's worth your while to take care of yourself I've got people booking vacations as we see the temperatures dropping in the north and so on just for some personal self-care. So what else is dropping? The price of Bitcoin, the price of a few of the top five. We see XRP going up though, Ethereum going up. It's not everybody. Some of the smaller coins are going up. Take a look at what you're invested in. See how it's going. The greed factor is going down slightly as well. So that's good. And the global consciousness dot is still green. So greed is lower slightly. We've got green consciousness going on. Let's look at the solar wind speed because this one gives away all of its secrets. I wonder what's going on here. Zoom in. Ooh, here we go. Sorry, guys. So we see a major dump in the solar wind data. So there's clearly something going on right in the last earlier part of this day. We've gotten through it, though. The, the data is leveling out. The, the aurora borealis isn't flaring we don't have solar flares either hitting us in the last six hours the last day the last three days little bit but nothing crazy last seven days little bit but nothing crazy no x's no x flares like usual but with that sunspot coming around that's that x flare warning like hey guys watch out there might be another x flare as solar cycle 25 persists Thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Every subscriber means so much to me, and we're on the trajectory to meet more minds and talk with more people. 
who are also healthcare practitioners, who are people interested in health in general. I want to share this data with you, share the conversation, and be respectful to all the conversations about this as we are growing as a race and a species, trying to do the best for everybody, being careful, following the golden rule, and so on. Here is the electromagnetic field around the Earth, magnetosphere. There's some pressure along the back that could explain why that solar wind data is also missing. That could have been a wave of solar wind hitting us, which was the CME, which was expected from the last behavior the last few days. So I was reporting that on my Instagram. I was letting you know it was coming over here, telling you it's going to be here on the 13th. Here we are. I think it did arrive. I'm seeing some data. It's a Sometimes the data just kind of gets swept under the rug a little bit, I've noticed on some of these websites. It's not everybody's watching everything. People get tired when these waves hit. It's a lot. It's a lot. But we've had fun over on my Instagram. Those of you who haven't visited my website, please scroll down to, you know, basically halfway down the main page. Fill out if I've done a session for you and how it went. I need some more testimonies, you guys. I'd appreciate your testimonies on ascensiondiaries.com. Of course, I have some openings. We have the Guardian Training Videos link here. The Space Weather Playlist here for those of you learning space weather. All my other links. I've got my merchandise. We've got our conference. And, of course, my sessions. I even have a tour for Sedona if you guys have ever gone to Sedona. All the information you need to go visit the sacred sites. Over seven days, I've got 14 sites. Instructions for everything for free for you. That's something I did for a group of people back in 2021, May 2021, it was awesome. And those of you who need some help with navigating the crypto the crypto realm, if you're wanting to do that non-physical wealth, fun and playtime and here in our big, big virtual reality of fun. <laughs> I keep saying fun, but it is fun and I see people have fun. Go to join.consciouscrypto.info, fill out the information, hit up the calls, check out Jace, see what he's up to. He's ready to field more people. There was some technical difficulties, but we're doing better now. Like I said, we've got the Guardian debrief coming up on Thursday at noon my time here in Phoenix to capture everybody and give them the codes, review the sexual energies workshop that we did this time last year, review some of the stories, some of the testimonies that came up through that, through you guys who participated in the workshop. So this is going to be a fun year. I get to review everything I did last year with you, add in all the extra little elements that I want to shield you through this January and then we will move on into the next month. It's coming up quickly. Make sure you've got your situation all lined up. Sort yourself out. Organize yourself. Things are moving quickly. And that sunspot is coming to stir things up for all of us. I'm going to be recording another Harry Potter series as well very soon. Very excited. And of course... Go to my Instagram and follow. Get the notification bell on because I go live on Instagram and do card readings once in a while. I love posting on Instagram, my favorite place. I just hit 25,000 followers. It's not showing up on here, but thank you so much for all the loving support. There it is. So proud of that. So grateful that social media is letting me grow a little bit again. And shout out to all of you who send me stuff that you see and this footage has been the most viral thing lately is Jesus peeking out or whoever, you know, whatever. Looks kind of like a dude looking out. I didn't grab this image. This image isn't mine. I don't know what day it's from. But this footage is from the most last, the last couple of days. This could have been what just hit us literally. Last couple hours actually was these blasts that were happening a few days ago. And you can kind of see a face in this, but it's not that vivid, and it, it never was. This is my image. I'm like, here, I know this. I had one of these, but this was also included and was sent to me, and I loved it. So this post went pretty viral. Some people were pissed. They're like, oh, it's this guy, it's that guy. Sometimes you talk about, <laughs> you suggest one thing, then things get into a race war really quick. So just heads up, I don't believe in race 
I am here for the spirit and these are solar flares. So just calm down a little bit, everybody, (laughs) is my belief system about that. Be kind to your neighbor and be careful. Don't go to movie theaters. You know, just you can watch it at home. You can play, you can pause, you can control the sound of the music. Okay, here in January, I'm also going to suggest some movies for you to watch. So this one is not one of them. I would wait till this one goes. Like we can say, we can watch it at home. Play, pause, control the volume. Watch it on a projector screen. Eat your own healthy snacks. Not sitting next to somebody who you don't know when they bathed last or whatever's going on. Just take better care of yourselves. I feel like, especially the big worm right here we're gonna we talked about some parasite cleansing as well so i look forward to updating all of you guardians and if you haven't watched the guardian training videos this playlist is below this video it's on my channel go to the guardian training playlist it's there it's ready for you catch up watch the sexual healing workshop i'm gonna build on that obviously i've grown since last year and yeah i'm just super excited things are coherent right now and i'm a happy girl Thank you all so much. I love you. And I'm just going to keep posting wacky, wild, crazy, interesting things. So thanks for joining me for this ride. Love you guys. Bee-bubble-bee.